Capricorn, hi. So this is going to be a reading for April 3rd to the 9th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Cappy. <clears throat> the overall energy for the reading the eight of swords lots of overthinking lots of you being in your head there for some reason in the recent past the five of pentacles the eight of pentacles the three of wands all right so there's a loss that shows up here or at least the feeling of uh, a break, a breakup, some some sort of a distance, kind of with it, but it comes with an energy of loss, and I see you working on it. You know, um, you've been working on this energy for a while here. Um, in the current situation, the Nine of Wands, the Five of Swords, the Sun. This is just the energy of someone that's standing in their own way, um, possibly with this overthinking. Uh, it's coming in as pretty self-deceptive, self-sabotaging. There's something that you're against, but by doing that, you're actually against yourself and your own happiness here. I don't know what it is, because, you know, I have no idea. And um, we're gonna clarify and see more about this one. In the immediate future, the Page of Wands, the Hermit, the Knight of Wands. All right, great energies. You're opening up to receiving um, energies that are good for you. Uh, you're also coming in from that place of giving uh out more you know there's definitely a sense of openness here um not as restricted as you show up here so let's see let's clarify let me clarify the eight of swords for the eight of swords you get the eight of swords again the four of cups the five of pentacles i don't know if this is a loss loss or it's a process of maybe a distancing or of getting close to losing something or getting ready to to detach from something i'm not sure what it is but whatever it is that's what's keeping you busy up there mentally you know that's what's stressing you out um pretty bummed out about the whole situation but definitely dealing with some sort of an energy of loss here uh, so let's get to that. Let's do the Five of Pentacles in the recent past. <clears throat> the Three of Cups, the Magician, the Temperance card. Yeah, the desire here was for things to work out, for things to come together in love. You know, definitely not loss. I feel like it turned into that. Or again, it's getting close to that. I'm not sure... I'm not feeling like a definitely a, a definite cut here. Uh, I'm getting it more like an energy that's just kind of flowing, floating around for now. Um, but yeah, I mean, the manifestation and the desire over that was for things to work out. and has been that for a little while. And then comes this energy of, yeah, probably not. You know, so I don't know. Let's do the Eight of Pentacles. world card the ace of swords the ace of pentacles yeah definitely a cycle coming to a close where you're not looking like you're giving to the situation anymore you did in the past you did want for things to work out you did put in the effort however there's already two energies of we're getting close to cutting that off or it's a done deal it's done you know i don't know let's do the three of wands The Wheel of Fortune, the Moon, the Eight of Wands. Kind of waiting for things to turn back around in a positive way here. I don't know if they did or not. I just see the energy of waiting. Um, definitely falling into a bit of expectation there in terms of, well, I hope they come back and fix it. You know, kind of a thing. Um, again, not sure what happened with that one. Let's do the Nine of Wands in the current situation. The Four of Swords, the Page of Cups, the Ace of Cups. 
I'm kind of refusing to heal here or even to acknowledge this energy that I keep on seeing. That's why it's not clear for me. Because you're like, nah, it's not there. It's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine here. You know? Um, there's a little bit of resistance there to your own healing. You know, like, okay. Or maybe you're taking it as there's nothing to heal. You know, things didn't work out. I'm moving on. That's it. But, um, yeah, no, there is something to heal. Something happened here and it came with an energy of loss. And even if it's a little one, it still needs your attention. So there's, there's resistance there to your own healing from you. Let's do the five of swords. The eight of cups, the three of wands, the two of wands. Rejection of your own heart. Really disconnecting from your heart. And you have been disconnected disconnected since this energy started creeping in. This energy of, again, whatever it is. Um, I feel like you're a little... Dis um, well, there's some self-deception involved here. There's some things you're telling yourself that are not true here. You know, uh, you're probably telling yourself you're fine. Your heart is wide open. Everything is fine here not really you know the energies are showing up a little different here but you just need healing and that's all there is to it once you go in and take care of that then you're fine yeah yeah for some reason you're you're kind of you're showing up a little numb you know uh since this energy showed up you're showing up a little emotionally numb and saying you're fine. Let's do the sun. The fool, the seven of pentacles, the seven of wands. Again, a sense of rejection to your own happiness. I don't know why you're, you're coming in, especially in the current situation, as against yourself, basically. Um, and I feel like half of it is conscious, half of it is... You just are not necessarily realizing it. Um, you're blocking yourself from great energies, you know? You're blocking yourself from healing energies. It's like you're upset with this whole situation, but you take it out on yourself. Let's see the Page of Wands in the immediate future. For the Page of Wands, you get the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, the energies are changing for the better, slowly but surely. There's definitely an energy that leads towards stability, towards... Yeah, I feel like that's where your focus is landing here. You know, working on your environment or whatever you feel is creating that, that sense of stability for you. And I feel like you're opening up slowly but surely to that, and that might actually help you open up in other directions too, for example, you know, your heart. Um, as to the Hermit, in the immediate future. Yeah, there it is. The Nine of Cups, the Judgment card, the Five of Wands. As I said, you are heading in the direction of, you know, first your interest on the outside, and then it's kind of going in internally, and there's a lot of healing here. It does challenge you to open up, to open up your heart. And I feel like it is a challenge. It, it is becoming a little bit of a challenge because it's like probably the realization of, oh, wait a minute, I think my heart has been closed, you know? And I feel like you've done enough work on yourself by this point to know how hard it is to open it back up. Way easier to close it. You can do it just like that. Okay, closed, or closed, closed for business. And then, you know, next morning when you want to open up again for business, it doesn't really work like that. It's like, oh, shit. You know? No, we're not ready. Come back in a month or so. Or, you know, we'll be announced. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes it takes a little, you know? Um, but definitely a good sign because you're heading straight into healing there. There's no more resistance. There's a little bit of conflict, which is normal because it's that, oh, shit moment you know but cool let's do the knight of wands 
The Five of Swords, the Death card, the King of Wands. This energy wants to come back towards you. And it's interesting because you've been waiting for it to do that there. But right now, as you kind of start heading back towards yourself here and, you know, who knows what the hell is happening. Uh, it's almost looking like this energy wants to come back from the dead, but it's coming back the same as you left it there. So it's like, it's showing up a little deceptive, a little like, kind of like, what are you doing here? You know, kind of a thing. Uh, I don't know how you'll take it. I have no idea if you're going to open up to it or not, but I see you seeing the deception in it because it's showing up in the same exact way that brought the two of you here, you know, to this place of, I'm fine. <laughs> you know, everything's fine. Are you happy? Yeah. I'm so happy it's not even funny. Uh, but anyways, let's see what the universe has to close it off. The Two of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you're on hold. When it comes to working on yourself here, you know, you're, you're you, basically. Your sense of confidence, your charm, your anything you're interested in about yourself, you know, putting in the work, you're on hold. You're putting yourself on hold here, basically. For now, for now, I see that energy breaking and I see you going back in. And then once this energy comes back in and knocks at your door, you know, you'll have a different perspective, a different place to deal with it from, basically. Because over here, I don't know, I wouldn't make any decisions under this energy right here. Here, where you start to heal, you start to open up your heart, sure. I trust you'll make the right decision for you at that time, so I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.